So this is your midterm review. Uh, uh, the video will be uh, uh, will be at your canvas. Okay. So chapter eleven is a very important chapter. So I would like to review them one more time. Okay. So first we want to see uh, whenever. Okay. So we want to learn what is a static variable. What is static function? Uh, whenever you say it's a static, I want you think as a global, global variable. So, uh, back to one month ago, we just we were just released from the college, okay, and that's everybody was thinking COVID nineteen. So I make this program. Uh, you saw this program here. I have a name, country, country name. And I have COVID nineteen case, but right here I have a static variable. So the static variable means the value will be retained. You understand? So these two variable, the value will goes away when the cl the class close. But these these static variable, the value will retain. So, because I will not only create one country object, do you understand? I may have several country object right here. So, for example, here, for example, here, how many country object I create right now? So, remember my vector country. So, my country, because my country has name and ID, my country. All right. Is a vector. So first, I want to to ask you, what's what's a different from vector and array? Anybody? What what is a vector anyway? It's not physic vector. Okay, there's no uh 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 direction right here. So anybody who can tell me what is a vector? What is a vector? So vector is a dynamic array, all right. So uh, array has a fixed size. A uh, vector don't have. Vector is flexible. It can be five, can be ten, can be twenty, can be twenty billion, can be twenty million. So it's perfect. It's a good. Data type you use it for the uh inter internet commercial online commercial because you really don't know how many customer you have, all right. So right here, I have a country, all right. So we'll store in my we'll store in my vector. My vector uh contain country this time the data type, all right. So in my vector, in my vector, how many object I have right now? How many object I have right now? Andrew, how many object I have right now? Well, are you sure? You get, all right. No, no. Andrew, three, three. My countries. Is that right? My country. Is a vector. And that's true, but in my country contained country objects, and there are three country objects: China, Italy, and USA. There are three country objects. So when I call, when I push this country China eight thousand into this vector, uh, it's called country. And the value as soon as I finish line number one, the value China eight hundred. Or uh, when I finish this class, when they call the class, the value will be gone. But each value, each country, no matter China, Italy, or USA, has a static variable, static, and which is which is the static. So that means I have a variable. I have variable right here, and which can apply to China, Italy, and USA. They don't fight, okay? Not like we fight all the time. We got to have one thing. 
So on the vector for this country, inside my vector, my total equals zero right now. I'm going to add number and I'm going to get country case. All right, so I'm going to get country case. When I get country case, I get COVID-19. Is that right? All right, then when I finish this, so I got this country case, this and that. And I also want to get world case. Get world case. It's okay? Now, so M, we have something right here. Here is add number. When we add number here, we accumulate your number, your number to, our, to this world COVID-19 case. So when I return this, this, this has to be static variable. That's why they can collect all, they can apply associate with all three different objects. The other thing I need you to remember is, if this is static variable, you have to initialize st static variable outside the main, outside the main, a first line before the main, outside the main, not in the class, not in the main, outside. Okay, so if I have a static variable right here, if I have a static variable, okay, uh, if I have static variable here, Fa Chang, if I have static variable, like uh, this one is called word COVID-19 case, where I need to initialize, where I need to initialize these very static variable, where, Fa Chang. Where? No, not public. No, not public. Fa Chang. Because a static variable is special, right? You don't want to. You don't want to initialize in the class. If you initialize in a class that belong to one class, it belong to everybody. You understand? So. It has to be outside the class, not in your country class, not in your main class. It's outside class, outside the class. Remember that, outside the class, okay? In the multiple choice, you click on that, it's okay? Please, do you understand right now? All right, so we could also use a static method. Look here, this is, we are using a, a static variable. And when we do that, I remember Jai asked me, why I do zero? That's weird. True, because we kind of play a tricky thing is right here. Because our country is a vector and every single, every single uh, uh, object in this uh, country all has the word COVID-19 case. They are exactly the same. Do you understand? They are exactly the same. So I put zero here, I put one here, I put two here, the same. But that's an awkward, awkward code. So you are going to do this way right now. You use a static, static method. So if you have a static method, the variable has, has to be static. And this is how you initialize your static variable you do by here you do your class then colon colon you see the difference right now memorize this otherwise next Monday you don't know how to do it so for this one look the difference devil is always in the detail it take a smart people like you you will be an engineer you will be an engineer. You are going to produce a lot of good program. The future relies on you. So can you pay attention here? You see a difference here? You see a difference here, boys and girl? Okay, I have an integer. Okay, country and war. And right here, I am the country and war. Is that okay? Right here? So, but. The only difference is this right now. The only difference is this right now. I'm using a I'm using a function to do that right now. So this is not that awkward anymore. Okay? 
Now, you need to study that by yourself. And I have video, nobody care, but you need to study that, okay? We are going to review friends. We are going to review friends, okay? So the friend is this. So I have a box right here. My box have a width and set width here. Okay. So right here. All right. So my box is going to use a right here pen uh, print width. So there's a function here. It's called print width. This is outside function. This function is not in the box. Box need to use print width. All right. So in reality, you are using something utility method. Okay, you use utility method, you turn on some electricity or you turn on some gate, you turn on something. All right, you don't want to write that, it's already have it. So if you do that, you say friend. All right, so this is a utility method already written by somebody else. You want to use that, put a word in front, friend friend all right put a friend in front all right so and I am going to continue right here very very important we need to learn is the difference from composition and inheritance they are so similar they are so similar. So add advanced class, you finally create class and you create objects. But you don't have only one class. At this moment, you really need to figure out the relationship. Now we had the, the uh, uh, we have the uh, T Tech Tool is one program. Worldwide Web is one class. But pretty soon we're going to have many class. So when you, it's for reality, there's not one project can be done by only one class unless you are very lucky. So it's either uh, your class uses something or you inherit something. So you, you are going to figure out the relationship among the classes you use. And that's a very, very important uh, skill you need to have. Let's see this one right now. There are two class associated to each other. All right. So class date. I have a class right now. Is that right? I have class date. My class date has three variables, month, day, and year. All right. I have a class person. My class person has one, two, one, two variable. One variable is name. The other private variable is a class. So in this example right here, my, my person, my person has a class has another class as one of the private variable. So right here, which class has another class has the private variable right now? Can anyone answer that for me? Ah, you don't answer, you don't go home, huh? hurry up. If you answer right, then we can leave early. Which class, which class right now have another class? Which class has another Gerardo? All right, yes, Teddy. Person has class date. Person has class date, all right? So this is very, very important. You probably use a lot, okay? So person, when you use it, pay attention. When you do person has date, this is your constructor, this is your constructor. When you do person has state, your constructor, then you need to construct all these variables. You have one, two, three, and four right now. 
You understand? So you have to write down all these. One, two, three, four. And when you write down one, two, three, four, you have to specify your job and the other job. So the name is your job. That's your job. So name, <coughs> this N will be assigned to name. The rest of one is not your job. The rest of one is job of the date. You understand? Job of the date. So this composition, oh my God, is so popular. It's a technique you probably see very often. Very, very often. That's why I want to come back to uh, explain it one more time for you. Okay? Now, uh, very important is here. I have a display here. You understand? I have a display here. I also have a display here. So one display for the date, one display for the person. Okay, so pay attention here. If I have a date display, I do that. And my person display, I do that. Okay, so let me ask you right now. Let me ask you right now. Let me ask you this question. So this one, if I write it this, okay? If I write this, persons, the uh, persons, and I'm going to say professor, and I'm going to put Xin Liu, all right? Then I'm going to put a date right there, a date right there, all right? A date right there. Then I am going to say this, okay? Professor and the display. Guess what I will display? Guess what was display? Guess what I will display? Andrew, very close right now. You will put Xin Liu because uh, I put Xin Liu. Is that right? You will put Xin Liu and you will put uh, right here whatever uh, the day we put. For this will be March 19, 2020. You understand? Okay. All right. So composition is very, very important. Okay. It's a very, very important. And I need you to go back to study and to try this program one more time. That's overload. C++ can overload. Java cannot. So C++ make a program a lot complicated, but also useful. Everything can be overload except these four. Everything can be overload. One, two, three, four. Remember, take a look at that. So it may be on your exam. So take a look here right now. Take a look at this program right here. I have I have here if I can make this a little bit larger here. So take a look at this program right here. Uh I'm overloading what I am I am overloading what function right now? What what operator? What operator I'm overload right now? Can anyone take a look what operator I'm overload right now? For the it's small I know, sorry. What operator I'm overload? For this one. Hasus. Hasus. No, a complex is a class. So low, I'm overload operator. Operator means this. Plus minus times divide. Yes, yes, yes. So the normal plus is plus two numbers. Is that right? That, that's a normal plus. I plus two numbers. I'm plus two class right now. I'm plus two complex. A complex has two parts, real and imaginary. All right, 
so I have to rewrite my plus sign. My plus sign is more complicated. I'm not just going to com add two numbers. Instead, I'm going to add the real to real and complex to complex, imaginary to imaginary. Do you understand? You are dealing with class. Class is deal with many private variable and have method. So of course you you cannot you probably don't have opportunity to have your class at only one variable. All right, once you have more than one variable, you cannot compare, you can you have to you have to overload them. All right? You have to overload them. All right? So uh, when we when we uh, do this plus sign, then we have to take care of this. For this one, take take care, take a look for here. So when I add this uh, two feet, eight inch, three feet, ten, uh, answer five feet and eighteen inch should be six feet six inch. How do you do that? You first make everything to be inches, then you mark to get your feet. Uh, you, you divide to get your feet, you mark to get your inches, okay? So a lot of detail, you need to pay attention. So now, this is the most important thing right now, is we're going to overload the output and input, all right? So you're you are dealing with a class so the class is not one single thing class student has name address ID uh, and you know and major and um, and you know uh, a bunch of thing anyway department is it so the CL you know is not going to see out uh, see our student and everything come out no but you wish to be like that because that's what you want to do on the internet when you are dealing with a five thousand no five billion five billion class you wish you want to do that yes you can do that when you fix the output and which is very very important okay you don't own this sign you don't own that sign you don't own in string you don't own out string so now you want to use it you have to call friend you have to get your friend your friend is the wing is your wing to help you to fly all right so remember we use a friend that was a small friend function that function probably is a utility function but now you're going to use this. So I'm going to output right now. I'm going to use output. So I have to use friend because I don't have our string. And the operator I'm going to is this. All right, is insertion sign. Then you have to create a new name for that. Don't call CL, new name for that. Whatever your class is going to overload, put like this. And we want it to be used address only, so put n percent. You also want to overload the input. As soon as, as soon then you rewrite this, my display is I'm going to write uh, the real and imaginary. So when I finish, look when I see in C, when I see in C, I see in two things: the real and imaginary part. When I see out C, I come out, the real is this, and imaginary is this. And this is an easier thing. I can insert this code easily with any online commercial program. But behind this, you have to do this job first. All right, so let's take a look here right now. So I have a date here, all right, I want everything to be this way. So I make this and then uh, become that way, okay? So we talk about this right now, we talk about this, okay? 
on the internet you saw this a lot of table uh, a table here I have one two three row I may continue you know uh, how do you know how many students you are interest register in Rio Hondoka hell no we don't know so it's a vector it's a vector so here the student is a table you think a table but the table the table is dynamic it's flexible so the row can the row can grow can shrink do you understand it can continue have more students come and when the student delete and left graduate this will be shrink so imagine this row can grow grows when you have new student and when student delete will shrink all right so row and it, look each column because the column are information depend on student click like Jai she click on international student she has one extra thing here these two doesn't have it right in order to do that in order to do that I need to have a vector so so the vector string here that's one row that's my row all right vector string s1 and Louise this and that but several of these row together that's vector vector string pay attention it's called student so student is a table in every row is a vector string and in order to do that you do this it will be on the exam for sure okay like it or not pay attention okay all right so for this right now for this right now okay so we have a student information here add a student information here I my private variable is that guy is that guy okay and um, I initialize to blank I'm going to add student when I add student I'm going to push student back and right I add student I am going to use overload right here all right so insertion sign here and when I overload right here and I will uh, display you know because a student has several things and name uh, <coughs> address and phone number so I'm going to do like that so first uh, my student info that's my class now it's called student so inside I have vector here that's one is my first row so student dot add student I add as one I add as two add as three all right so this is a vector okay vector string uh, let me just uh, quickly uh, I'll let you go quickly I have inheritance that's it I have inheritance inheritance so 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 similar so similar to your composition is that right because so similar so right here I have a person class I have person class all right so this is my person class all right so this is my student class my uh, where's my student no, I don't have that one so I have if I have a student class want to use a person class okay for example right here I have a student class uh, I have international youth student I have an international youth student all right so pay attention to pay attention to the constructor that will be on the test that will be on the test when here your nation your student already have that you don't need to worry let student do it and you only care take care of this okay all right so let's take a look right here all right so this should be go up here so I have a person student class right so I name H my student inherit person I have a GPA student have a GPA can you please watch here you only take care of GPA did you take care of like a composition like a composition uh, 
、mm, your class have a date, you also need to initialize the date. If you do composition, if you do inheritance, no. Whatever your fathers, your parents have, that's yours already. You don't need to claim for it. Composition is your friend. You have to say, "May I use it?" Okay. So take a look the different way because that will be on the exam. Okay. Take a look the different way will be on the exam. All right. So we also talk of multiple, multiple inheritance. Ah,、uh, we can do that. Okay. Ah,、uh, so we also tell you. We also pay attention. When you do multiple inherit, this is called multiple inheritance. This is not allowed in Java if you took Java. So in this class, I inherit from here and from there too. All right. So we have a class T A. We have a class T A. T A is our Charlie Wang. Charlie Wang inherit person. He's a person. Also inherit student. He's also student. In order to do that. This person and this student should not be have any relation. If you already have relation, it doesn't work. Okay, they don't. They are independent. Then, look the way you write it: public student, comma public person. You can do another one too. Ah,、uh, if you are crazy, the two two already enough. All right, so far okay to you. Okay. All right. You also need to study T Tech Two. You also need to study theater. It's two o'clock right now. I'm ready to end this uh meeting. Uh, I will first uh 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 stop my recording. Is that okay? Uh.